Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Tay and you are watching Tay Budgets. All right, y'all, let's just get started because we got some bad news. What's the bad news? I will not be stuffing this big number today. No, I will not. I will be stuffing uh, any small numbers and whatever number, like I'm stuffing all the small numbers only because I made the decision that I will not be doing the 100 envelope challenge anymore. <laughs> Why? Why, Tay? Because it's not achievable. It is achievable and it can be done. But I do want to be doing low income challenges that, you know, I know like I have variable expenses and some of the variable expenses, they change and I mean, right now, the, the the 100 envelope challenge is intimidating. Let me just tell y'all. I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I'm going to do 20 envelopes. This is 17. So let's see. I'm gonna find some small numbers that I can do. And I feel like this is the best decision for me um, until I get, you know, into a better job that I can say, you know what, I, I, this, this is, ca I, I am capable of doing um, the 100 envelope challenge. And I feel like this is the best decision for me right now, you know? Like, yes, it won't be $5,000, but it'll be something. You know, that I can put towards, you know, credit card debt or, you know, something. Why does this feel like two? Because it is two. Um, I was, I am still determined to do the 100 envelope challenge, but just not right now. Because, you know, I felt like I was doing it because everyone else was doing it. But what can my, you know, what is my income looking like? What is my budget looking like? I am not other budgeters, you know, I, I don't work a nine to five every day. Um, I'm not bringing home, you know, a thousand, two thousand plus dollars every two weeks, you know? So I need to do what is best for me. And that is not doing the hundred envelope challenge right now. I know it would have benefit, benefited me in the future, but honestly, I don't have $90, um, $80 to stuff today, but I probably do have $8 to stuff. I probably do have $2 to stuff. I probably do have $5 to stuff, and I probably do have $6 to stuff. So, you know, I can do this over and over again. Once 20 over and over again and I feel like I'll save so much more and I'll be so much more motivated instead of doing all of these all of these numbers and I'm and, and, and I have to like you know pick up scraps of where I'm like of where I'm gonna get the money from you know so I prefer to do this um so I'll be still doing the stuffing but I'm going to actually change these well I'm gonna still keep what I have here. And I'm gonna just be doing one to 20, 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 um, until the end of the year. So that's where I'm at right now. Cause honestly, let's see how much this is. $21, do we have $21? Five, 10, 15, 20, 20. We have $25 right here. We have $25 right here, right now. And like, I feel like that's so much more achievable. And guys, don't let nobody, just because you see this 100 envelope chat, I hate that it took me up till now because this is my second time trying to conquer this 100 envelope challenge and I have not been able to yet. But I just have to come to the realization that it's just not my time right now to complete the 100 envelope challenge. And I've wasted all these envelopes. I could just exit off and just do one to 20. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. 
That's not a bad idea. We're going to do that. Instead of wasting the envelope, we're going to do that. We finna do that. Exactly. We're going to do that. Yep, that's what, exactly what, yep. Instead of wasting, I'm going to do that right after I'm done. <laughs> so, I have money for this. Like, this is something achievable. Like, I'll be excited to do this. And I've completed one set of 1 to 20 already. Even, I think this is more because this is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 envelopes. Done. Like, that's more achievable for me. Let, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. The 100 envelope challenge is just not for everybody. Um, everybody's um, process is different. You know, everybody's income is different. So I'm not going to force myself to do the 100 envelope challenge if it's just not for me right now. If it's just not aligning with my budget and my income right now. That makes sense? That makes sense. To me, it does. All right, so let's stuff this real quick. All right, so let's stuff two dollars. Probably gonna stuff some more into some envelopes because I only have five left over. All right. Um, let's stuff five because we do have a five. And then sometimes I might just do bonus, you know, and, and stuff more, more. That makes sense. That makes sense. Like, look, for eight, I'm stuffing a 10. This gives me more leeway. This gives me more wiggle room to save. Like, <laughs> with the 80, I don't have $80 right here. You get what I'm saying? $6. $6 can get a 10. Look at that. And then at the end, when I'm, when I'm done stuffing, I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, wow, I put $10 in a $6 envelope. I think that's what's best for me right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Look, luckily I stuffed this, right? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 20. We have 23 envelopes right here. And I seen a, a, a bonus envelope, which I'm going to put the bonus, which is $3, which is no problem. Cause that's three extra dollars that I'm not gonna have. You know what I mean? That I'm, well, that I'm gonna have. So yeah, like, look at that bonus, boom. Flam flop. And that's just that on that. Like I said, don't let nobody force you to do savings challenges just because it's a trend. And that's what I've been stuck in. These trends. These savings challenging savings challenges trends. And I'm 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 done. I'm doing what's for me. I'm doing what's in my budget and what my in based off what i earn okay so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys got something from this video um literally i just filmed my savings challenge video and i told you know you guys that um i would be thinking about whether or not i'm going to be doing the savings challenge the 100 envelope savings challenge but then i just looked at this envelope when i started the video this video just now and i'm like this it mm, child this would be a waste you know, to be, cause I know, I know myself. When you know yourself and you know your limits, like, of course you could challenge yourself. This is a, this is a challenge. I'm not gonna lie, this is a challenge. And to whomever completes this challenge, I, I applaud you, hats off to you, but I know this is not where I am right now. I can do a 20 envelope challenge because I, that's achievable. Let's talk about achievable. That is achievable for me. Probably a 50 envelope challenge if I'm feeling skippy, but I feel like that's the most that I can do. A 50, okay, 50, I can do. But for right now, we're just gonna stick to the 20s and we're just gonna keep, keep, keep revisiting one to 20, one to 20. Cause at the end of the day, if I do five sets of that, I'll have $500. For the, the 20 envelope, for number 20, I'll have $500 aside from whatever I saved in the other numbers. Like you understand what I mean? So do what's um, achievable for you, do what's comfortable for you until you are ready to um, go up in another le level for savings challenges. Don't let anybody 
oh, don't let anybody, don't let any trend force you to do nothing that you're not ready to do. All right. I hope you guys got a word from uh, Pastor Tay Budgets today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.